It feels good. We always want instant feedback. And that's what social media has us all addicted to. So yeah. you, if you post something, how many likes does it get? If you do a section, how many did you get right? How many did you get wrong? You want to know immediately. If you had to wait a week, it would kill you, which is part of why waiting two to three weeks for your LSAT score is so difficult. You've got to slow the process down and review and learn from what you're doing. The value in doing these sections and exams is not simply to measure yourself because that's not the test that counts. It's really to learn from your mistakes, to identify problems that give you trouble. If I could have you do only problems that gave you trouble, that would be fantastic. And for, so for some students, I'll say, don't bother doing the first five or 10 in a section if you're just looking to drill tough questions. Because the first five, 10, you're probably gonna get them right anyway. That doesn't help with pacing, obviously, but if the focus is simply questions that give you trouble, then tougher questions make sense to focus on. Thanks for tuning into the show. Please subscribe if you haven't done so already to be notified of new episodes as I release them. And feel free to reach out if you need anything at all as you move forward with your prep. I'm happy to help however I can. In the meantime, I wish you all the best and take care.